biggest signs that your breakthrough is on the way is that you are experiencing warfare. So much craziness breaks out as you are on your way to breakthrough. And really when you say breakthrough, what does that mean? It means you're go, you're breaking forth from where you currently find yourself to where you're wanting to go. That means you're going into an elevated place, an accelerated place, a different position from where you currently find yourself. So ask yourself this, if I'm going and I'm desiring a breakthrough and I'm experiencing warfare, that warfare is the requirement for your next level. Because what usually happens in that warfare is you're learning a few things. You're learning the things that you need for that next level. Patience, resilience, mindset, really being able to maintain your posture, maintain your position, maintain your faith in what it is that you are believing is about to take place. No matter the heat, no matter the pressure, no matter the obstacles that come your way, you're staying and remaining steadfast in that thing. When you're experiencing warfare, that is one of the biggest signs that your breakthrough is on the way. And so what happens is now you have to tap into your spiritual tool belt. You have to tap into those resources, those things that will now allow for the breakthrough to come. So you're talking about um, being able to talk and speak to other like-minded individuals who can keep you encouraged so that you don't faint, so that you don't grow weary, so that you don't fall and pass out because, you know, the warfare is so high. You know, when you read um, the book of uh, 1 Samuel, 2, no, well, not 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, and you really get to see the life of David and even Psalms, book of Psalms, you'll see how King David is always crying out, especially in Psalms. Oh God, don't let your enemies take over. Don't let them laugh at us. If they defeat me, they defeat you because they know I serve you. They know I'm for you. So you, you, you can't let this happen. Send your angels to guide and to lift us up. Give us a word, that word that will keep us, in, you know, he's always like, you're, you're hearing these things like, um, that nothing shall harm us, nothing shall befall us. If we're not afraid of the terror by night, we're not afraid by the uh, things by day, you know, like all the things, like he's saying all these things. So what's happening, what's happening is he's tapping into his spiritual tool depth. He's tapping into his resources, his number one resource is God. So he's tapping into those things that can turn the tide, that shift the waters, that move things around, in the spirit realm and then as it changes in the spirit it all starts to make itself manifest in the physical so understand that um that warfare could be um physical so you know you're you're a rock comes flying out of nowhere that's what happened to me literally recently um <laughs> it comes flying out of nowhere cracks the windshield like this thing came but i wasn't even behind the truck it, was, it just came out of nowhere and quack. And, the, and it was, you know, down at the bottom. And I was like, okay, okay, no problem. I can handle that. But then the next morning, it, like, it just took over. And I was like, wow, really? And the funniest thing was, I was having a conversation in the car with my coach on the next steps I'm going to take in my business. And that happened. So I was like, no problem, right? So that's a physical representation. Sometimes um, physical representation um, can be different things are happening, like sickness in your in the body, right? Um, you get sick even as you're on your way towards this next level, this next promotion, this next increase, this next elevation. Um, now you can have um, warfare in your finances where your money just dries up. People aren't paying you back. Um, the, the money that you're expecting from a certain place doesn't come in and they have those all these reasons and things like that, right? Um, you can also be experiencing warfare, and this is the most popular form of warfare, the warfare of your mind. Even before you get up in the morning, before you have a cup of coffee, you are down and out about the day ahead. 
But when you went to bed, you didn't feel that way. You were excited. You were like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to reach out to this person. This is going to happen. You know, you had all these plans. But then now, all of a sudden, in the morning, you're feeling sad. You're feeling angry. You're feeling torn. Um, all these different emotions that don't allow you to take the actions to get the results you desire. That's warfare, guys, especially, especially now, you know, that's, you know, we have different thoughts that come to us. That's fine. We have over 50,000 thoughts in a day. However, when these thoughts are thoughts that lead constantly lead to negative emotions, you um, over assessing yourself, you analyzing yourself and analyzing the situation and having difficulty um, processing things and you know you're having brain fog where you can't think all the way through you're not able to process information that's coming to you or is taking more um, than necessary right um, when you're having these overwhelming thoughts or even suicidal ideations that come out of nowhere um, you feel down and out and you're just you know and, and you're so so literally you're on this emotional roller coaster you're on these waves all the time that's mental warfare and the goal of any of those forms of warfare is to distract you, is to deplete you, is to disintegrate your emotional state so that you don't remain steadfast in what it is that you need to do to go to the next level. I was talking about King David, so let me come back to that. When you look in um, first, uh, excuse me, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 2 Samuel, you will see how often whenever there was a battle that was fought and they won, they would have spoils. What are spoils? They would have um, wives at that time and how they did things back then. They would have plunder, lambs, cows, um, um, I said land already, land, cows, sheep. They would have um, treasuries. They would have gold. They would have um, spices from that country that they just conquered. They received spoils. They received treasures. They received more than what they had before. Know this, your breakthrough is on the way when you encounter warfare and you may be deep in that warfare but you have to make sure that you continue to tap into your tool belt of worship prayer praise david danced so hard that he danced out of his clothes that's how excited he was that's how ecstatic he was that's how happy he was that's how joyful he was that's how resolute he was for what god had done for him same thing with you Use those weapons of spiritual warfare. Guard yourself. Make sure you're listening to the right things. Expose yourself to the right things, the right teachings, the right environments, the, the conversations that's going to fuel you and keep you motivated, keep you built up on your most holy faith so that when the battle is won, you will have enough energy to take the spoils that belong to you. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to like, share it, and of course, subscribe it. I have so much more to share with you. So go forth and enjoy your breakthroughs.